Joining me now is Sportsnet analyst Blake Murphy to dive between the lines presented by Bet Rivers as we usually do. And Blake, despite the fact Pascal Siakam tried to drag and will the Raptors to victory over Orlando, it could not be done. The comeback was halted. So what adjustments do you immediately need to see to have a more positive idea of this game? The first thing is just the Raptors offense is not good enough to play that poor defensively, even against a lesser opponent. The Orlando Magic are going to be good eventually. They're already quite fun, but some some of the defensive mistakes the Raptors made in that game, and not just mistakes, but long stretches of laps after laps after laps, that they do not have the half court scoring, even against a defense like the Magic, to make up for that. And the offense not looking balanced at all. Siakam with 27 shot attempts. Next up was Gary Trent Jr. with 16. No OG Ananobi, so you figure there will be more weight put on Gary and his performance offensively. There definitely will be, and he's going to re-enter the starting lineup, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, he did shoot very, very well off the bench. Uh, he hit two or more threes in six of those seven games off the bench. No reason whatsoever that hot shooting can't sustain in the starting lineup something to watch for too is that the Orlando Magic are very poor defending spot up shooters and they allow more pull up threes than any other team in the league so Danielle that one dribble or two dribble sidestep three that Gary Trent loves could yes. be in the cards tonight could be working for him uh, everything was working for Franz Wagner season high 34 points just torching them defensively they, they couldn't seem to keep up and now they don't have OG Ananobi. So we'll, we'll see how that one goes. Um, if you watch the tape back on that one, it was a lot of not only Franz Wagner beating the first Raptor he faced, but help defense that was either too over eager or came late or came but without the sort of intent you want to see. Franz Wagner spent the first 10 or 15 games of the year primarily as a playmaker. He was still scoring, but he was putting out six, seven, eight assists a game. The last 10 or so, he's been primarily their score. The Raptors have to turn him back into a passer and make the other players on the Magic beat them. I hate to even ask you this yet again, but Blake, how do the Raptors have a better start? Because they are not doing well on the road, and they certainly do do well in the first quarter. And now they're looking at another change to the starting lineup. So uh, we'll see. I don't have a ton of confidence in diagnosing what's going on here. It doesn't matter who the Raptors start. Uh, if they have five starters on the floor, they're 27th in the league in net rating. So basically any combination of five starters they've thrown out there hasn't worked. Uh, it's got to start defensively, especially against a team like the Magic that is pretty susceptible to the transition game if you can get running. And as you mentioned, they just do not play that well when they're playing from behind. So better to get ahead of it. Please. Please, for our sake. Thank you so much, Blake. Actually, Blake, if you could stay right there, we're getting our full Murphy's money's worth today because I want you to join me for an edition of Swish or Brick, which we haven't done in a little while. And we begin with a rematch of the NBA Finals. Celtics, Warriors, I was really excited for it. It did not have the pizzazz I was hoping for, mainly because Steph and Clay go off for 66 combined points. Now, the record kind of stinks, but they're the defending champs. So I ask you this, Swish or Brick, they're the team to beat in the West. Swish. Okay. You are the champions until you're no longer the champions. That holds for conferences as well. I know they haven't been very good so far this year. I know there are a lot of miles on these tires, but <laughs> Steph Curry playing like an MVP again. Clay Thompson starting to look more like himself. If Draymond Green can rediscover that defensive edge come playoff time, nobody's really stepped up in the West to the level where you say, Golden State's in trouble. All right, well, the Pelicans might have something to say about that in the West. And if we go back to Friday, Zion Williamson, there are, like, seconds left. They're up nine. Rips an absolutely epic 360 windmill dunk. Swish or Brick? Swish being sportsmanship, love to see it, showmanship, if you will, and Brick being unsportsmanlike at that point. Swish, like Ray Allen level swish. <laughs> Do you your thing, Zion. It was an excellent dunk. He's at home for the, for the home crowd. Yes. Uh, and then there's also the big element of if you don't want someone doing that, get back on defense. I think C.J. McCollum said it after the game. Don't want to get dunked on. Defend it. Now, sure, there were only a couple seconds left, but whatever. Yeah. Send the crowd home happy. Agreed. The Smoothie King Center loved it. DeAndre Ayton also backed that up after the game, saying he thought it was cool. You're going to do that in front of your home crowd. Like, go for it. Uh, in the same vein as unwritten rules, let's look at Shen Goon's dunk that did not count. Absolutely posterizing Collins. Swish or brick, we should throw the rules right out the window for this kind of action. Brick on that oh, one, Danielle. Such a rules follower, Blake. But hear me out on but. this. Say a game goes overtime, it's still tied. We don't want to do a second overtime, a third overtime, things like that in the regular season. 
There's also judges scoring the game, and you get style <laughs> points for things like Sheng Bin's dunk there. Uh, so it doesn't count for two, but if that one's tied at the end, Rockets win on points. And you like he's trying to explain to the refs why it wasn't? Yeah, in case the ref like, wasn't sure what a dunk was, he's yep. there like, like this. Like, this? Oh, this, did you see this the is face? what I did, yeah. Yeah, Sheng Bin in the highlights regardless, and nice to talk about a huge dunk like that. Blake, thanks for joining me for Swisher Brick. And Blake has tons of content that you can go consume at sportsnet.ca. Use your phone to scan the code bottom right corner and read up on all things Raptors and otherwise because Blake does a little bit of everything here for us at Sportsnet.